Boo! Ah! Oh no, the Fulux soup. I'm gonna get fired for sure. My whole future depends on this job. I thought there was no future here. There is for me. My future self is sitting over there in the corner. He says that if I don't try a lot harder, I'll never be as successful as, uh, well, me. He said I've got to save, work hard, and sign up to a pension plan. Otherwise, I'll never drive a sleek instant change five. And then, well, it would all be for nothing. Why don't you just make a new suit? I can't. We've run out of few lock ribs. Oh, man. What a disaster. Ta-da! Few lock ribs? Now, where did you get them? Where do you think? I ripped them off a of few lock. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. But if it's not asking too much, could you take the suit to my future self? Sure, why not? But careful! I think he's looking for a reason to get me fired. That time traveler apparently comes from a completely different ethnic background. This is where my respect for foreign cultures and my diplomatic tact come into play. Ooga Ooga. Good day, sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. May I introduce myself? My name is Ang. Hello. You understand what I say? But of course, communication is one of the most important attributes for the profession in which I work. I'm a trader, and it would be a true conviviality to engage in business with you. I vend in medicinal herbs for a healthy intestinal flora in exchange for vintage art from the Neolithic period. I give stone. You give fart mush. I couldn't have put it better myself. That time trap, this is where... What a wuss. I see all the prerequisites for an entrancing love story. I just think the female lead should be recast. Is that your ride out there? Why, have I blocked you in? No, don't worry. <laughs> Shame. So why are you asking? Well, you left the lights on. If you give me the key, then... <laughs> Nice try. Not only does the Instant Change Coupe make time travel possible without that bothersome time branching, it also has the automatically adjusting headlights since the 5 Series. That's a nice device. No two ways about it. <sighs> Every time traveler's dream. For a long time, I thought I'd never be able to afford more than the 2 Series, the so-called butter churn. But I was ambitious. I wanted the 5 Series more than anything else. I've slogged and slaved, shed blood, sweat, and tears, scrimped, and saved again. And now, now that I've got there, the only thing that still gives me any joy is pushing around other people who don't slave away as hard as I did back then. For example, my former self, that lazy slacker. He should have served me a bowl of delicious Fulux soup ages ago, but... Do you see any delicious Fulox soup around here, huh? I don't. If he doesn't start moving my ass soon, I could be to a real ass chewing. Fulox soup, finally. Darn, that was actually quite all right. Am I hearing disappointment? Yes, of life. I've grafted away all my youth to be able to afford an instant change five. Now I'm old. Making other people's lives hell is the only joy I have left. And now, I can't even manage that anymore. Ah, don't be so hard on yourself. You can do it. Be a good little boy and bring me some seconds. Maybe then I'll find the hair in my soup that will give me an excuse to fire someone. That's the spirit? And what did he say about the soup? Looks like he enjoyed it. He wants another one. Really? Oh boy. Maybe I haven't screwed up my future after all. <laughs> Here. Fortunately, we've now got loads of this stuff. Gold's hair may have lost its color, but it still smells like marshmallow candies. Waiter, there's a hair in my Fulox soup. Then be glad you didn't order the Fukaka soup. She's got talent. Now she just has to use it. Whoa, Butterfingers at work.
fuel on soup. Finally. I was about to get my former self fired. What? Wait a minute. What the hell is this? There's a hair in my soup. I want to see the manager and me. What? How did you get here so quickly? Oh, you're obviously experiencing the side effect of my new instant change too. It uses a time travel technique that doesn't create any new timelines. All changes become immediately visible. Didn't you just want to save up for series five? Yes, but then my future self came along completely broke. So I bought the two series off him. It's quite practical as long as you don't take pregnant women on board. And now that I don't need to save anymore, well, I quit immediately. My future self was probably more in need of a job anyway. And what are you gonna live on? I'll break into my pension plan, and then, well, <laughs> we'll see. The future suddenly looks bright again. So, that's your instant change too out there? Yes, why? Well, you left the lights on. Ugh, really? It's probably a problem with the electrics again. Damn butter churn. Ah. Why, oh, why didn't I save up for the 5 Series? Nobody knows. Uh, here, could you turn it off for me? Sure, happy to help. Do you own one of the time machines out there? But of course, my young friend. I call it the V-Tardis. <laughs> <laughs> why is everyone laughing? Because they have no idea. The V-Tardis is a jewel in the crown of time travel technology. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully funny. Mr. Vincent is neglecting to tell you that his antediluvian vehicle cannot undertake genuine time travel, only deterministic time travel. You can't change the past with it. You're stuck there until you've recreated the condition of the timeline at the point of departure. Huh? Don't listen to them. A trip in the retardus is always worth it. If you like, I can take you on a little spin. All I need is a portal map with precise space-time coordinates on it. Just ask the lads at the portal building authorities. Ha-ha! <laughs> Success! Wow, what is all this stuff? I wonder if I'll be able to start the engine. Uh, damn butter churn. A genuine engine would be nice, but looky here. Surprise, surprise. It's short one cylindrical device. <laughs> Poetry. And that should fit size-wise, but why bother? It's broken. They can drill to their heart's content there. What are you reading? Hey, this is the future issue of hats. <laughs> what else? And uh, are helmets making a comeback? No, sadly not. In the future, all manual work will be performed by machine. That would be great. Then no one would have to work. Why do you think I work so hard? Certainly not for the money. This job is so badly paid that I need a second one to make ends meet. And what's your second job? I write fake reviews for an ad finance rating portal that compares free comparison sites for buying building machinery. Huh. If only we finally had machines that could relieve us of all these important tasks. That's, uh, the hats, right? I already told you it is. Can I... Can I have it? No, I need it for research purposes. In this highly technological working environment, further education is an integral part of everyday work and life. Uh, you could take a break. Ah, oh, my lunch break is well overdue. Unfortunately, I can't leave the machine on its own. Yes, it seems to me that your presence is downright imperative. I tell you what, you can have the magazine if you bring me a peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter sandwich, huh? No problem. She's got talent, now she just has to use it. The world isn't ready for this art yet, but I'm sure they'll appreciate it in the future. Oh. 
Yoo-hoo, I have a question. Keep it thwart, I've got work to do. We're about to make the breakthrough into the future. I can already smell it. Sorry, it's the excitement. Now, I still don't understand exactly what that hole there is supposed to have to do with the future. But it's so very simple. We want to attract a solvent clientele. Time travelers who are literally not born yesterday. A portal to the future who would put a paradox city back on the map. The saying goes, continuous growth through development in interwim time. And we're creating the attractions for that. Ugh, you spit when you talk. What exactly are you doing here? We suspect there may be a so-called future in sediment beneath the city. That's why we started to hollow out its foundation. Aren't you worried that that could make the city somehow, I don't know, slide maybe? The chances always offset the risks. The unimaginative rednecks up there have no idea what a rough diamond they have right under their feet. They see no further than the base that guarantees their apartments stay standing. I see street cafes, Martin, office spaces, and affordable lofts for fashionable high-income earners. Such as architects working for the portal building authorities, for example? Exactly. I have to get to Kuvak one day before the end of time. Wait, Kuvak, Kuvak, hmm. Unlucky and unlucky. We do have a portal to Kuvak, but that's on the old Hormit's land, so it's not connected to the time travel superhighway yet. We've been fighting for that right away for ages. That isn't the problem. The problem is that the portals have closed back up again. No, 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 it's not a problem, it's an opportunity. It's proof once more of how important the connection between Paradox City and the future is. We can already see the campaign. The only way back leads forwards. Better still, back through the future. But that's all just drivel. The reason for the lack of a future lies in the past. What a hogwash. Today was yesterday, the future belongs to those who have the courage to look forward. Oh, you have no idea. I'll let you get on with your work. Finally! I was afraid I'd miss out on the future all because of you. Rufus, bring stone. Hmm, interesting. Basalt from the Germian Fatstone Mountains. I can make out deposits of obsidian, and even inclusions of chrysoberyl. I have at least two clients who would pay a great deal of money for such a rock. I give stone. You give fart mush. Quite right. Quid pro quo. Here, this is sure to help. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Oh, 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 thank you. Now I can finally continue on my journey to a galaxy far, far away. Take care, end times person. I'd rather not disturb him. He's still in his probationary period. One order of uh, toast and milk, please. On its way. Here, the rest is a tip. Oh, I hate this job. Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. Can you repair the portals? Worrying, isn't it? But there's nothing that can be done about it. Portals have neither a motor nor any other mechanical components. Oh, then it's all up to me again. Are there any goats in Paradox City? Not that I know of, and I'm sure you'll find something better to sweeten the time until the portals open up again, you rotter. Huh? 
I have to get to the time pod. No can do. It's a bit of a family heirloom. Nonsense. It belongs to the old goal. Belonged to. She left it to my father. But that's... You won't be able to argue with my granddad, Rufus. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I'm a mysterious voice from your memory. What? Since when? Don't you like it? Sure, it's pretty cool. Who are you talking to? Quiet back there. Got a tip on how to get past him? Not really. He was the most stubborn human being that I've ever known. That's not a lot of help. You are right. Sorry. Now I feel slightly silly. Are you all right? Huh? Why? Oh, nothing. What was your question again? I urgently need to get to the time pod. And I said, no. It's a bit of a family end. And fam... <laughs> Yay! Mysterious Memory McChronicle! What? So, you got an idea yet? I, I thought you had one. But I haven't! Then what are you doing here? You are right! Always nice to hear from him. You're behaving very strangely. Ah, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. Peanuts. Tasty. What? You eat Mikey! What? But, oh no, I, I thought you were Peanuts. Nah, uh, don't worry. Mikey was an ass anyway. And we are Peanuts. Sapien Peanuts from another time. Delicious and clever. What do you know? Can I maybe take you along anyway? The way things are going here, I'll probably have to make you into peanut butter. Mm, no. To be honest with you, we wouldn't like that. Let him speak! Maybe he's got a good reason. A good reason to turn us into peanut butter? Oh, yeah. True. He hasn't given us one yet. Yeah! Why does he want to do that? For love. Wow. Now that's what I call a proper answer. Oh, we'd be happy to sacrifice ourselves for love. Yippee! Me first! About one more question. How exactly does it help love if we're made into peanut butter? Oh, yeah! I'd like to know that, too. Let him speak! You're right. No probs, matey. No offense. Come back again once you've thought of a valid reason, you pillock. Hello, Rita. What's new? Don't waste my time. Order something, propose to me, or move over for the next in line. What do you think of Rocco? Rocco McChronicle from the garage? Young, athletic, a tushy to die for, put short? Not in my league. But you flirted with me. Psst, not so loud. I don't want everyone to know how desperate I am. Yeah, I think I really should. Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. I think I know someone who likes you. You think so? <laughs> of course. She's just waiting for you to propose. I can hardly imagine that's true. She would have said something. Nonsense. She wants you to take the first step. But by proposing to her, isn't that a bit too forward? Women want to be rushed. What woman would get involved with you if she had time to think, huh? So go, go, go. Otherwise, someone else is likely to take her. And to the victor go the spoils. But I haven't got a ring. And I haven't got a tailcoat for the wedding either. You let me worry about that. Your job is to come up with the right words for your proposal. A little tip. Here am I. There are you. Platty poo. Sometimes works wonders. But, oh dear. This is 
is a workshop, right? Caught red-handed. Maybe I should have hidden the tools. Fix this. What is it? What does it look like? Hmm. I guess it's an antidiluvian cylinder head. As all of the time travelers come here from the past, it doesn't surprise me at all. It's not even worth repairing. But I do happen to have a spare cylinder in stock. Keep it. The first spare part is always on the house. Funny. With me, the first always goes through the neighbor's window. All I need for that. And the car keys. All I need and... That would fit perfectly, but why should I waste my new butter churn repairing strange cars without being asked? I'm not the nice young man from the motor club. Ah, Mike! Piss off, you dick! But I said I was sorry. <laughs> Just screwing with you. <laughs> you thought we got sour on you, but we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bit rancid at worst. Uh, have you remembered why you wanted to turn us into peanut butter yet? Um. For love? Yeah, yeah. The question is, how exactly does it help love? I want to marry Rita off to Rocco. Rocco McCronicle from the garage? I like him. Oh, a dream couple. What do you say, boys? Shall we sacrifice ourselves for love? Yeah! Yeah! For Rita and Rocco! Come on! What are you waiting for? Take us and make us into peanut butter. For love. For love. For love. Machine head, proper head, all the same to me. E -e. Visit doc. That could make a great peanut butter sandwich, but I still have some work ahead of me before it does. Did someone here order muesli? Sure wasn't me. What do you reckon, guys? Ready for a change of scenery? Of course! Let's go, matey! Yippee! That would fit perfectly, but why should I wait? I'm not the... I could use the engine to churn butter for me. What did he say? Psst, don't talk over him. I think it's about to get interesting. Ah, oh, you guys. I'm really going to miss you. Why? Where are we going? Hey, is this some kind of carousel? Right here. It started. Sacrifice will not have been in vain. <laughs> mm, yummy, 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 yummy. That reminds me of the sandwiches I used to steal from Wenzel. Did someone order a delicious peanut butter sandwich? Mmm, yummy, delicious. Here, keep the magazine. I've read it from cover to cover at least three times. Oh, and there's even some motor oil on it. Just like Mom used to make it. Let's see what's in fashion in the future. Turbans, seriously? Yoo-hoo, I have another question. Of course. Distract me, why don't you? It's only our future we're talking about. 
Do you happen to know in which time I could find a tailcoat and a wedding ring? A wedding? Can you tear me away from my valuable work for this? What could be more important for the future than family planning? Hmm. Perhaps your wife. I see playgrounds, schools, kindergartens, and parking spaces for push chairs right in front of the organic supermarket. <laughs> Sounds heavenly. Just a minute. Just have the information that you need, but knowledge always has its price. My informant would like to know, in return, what the new twins in Hat Dash movie. Hat trends? What is it with the hat trends these days? Can you find out or not? Yes. Uh, wait, there was something. Oh, well, that's easy. Turbans are all the rage. Oh, really? That sounds quite far fetched to me. You got any proof for that? Of course. Here. Yes, that should do. My informant is satisfied. And he actually knows where you will find these objects. I'll write the corresponding coordinates on the map. There. Now please, piss off. Ah, uh, damn butter churn. Can you take me there? Let's see. Yes, that should be possible. Ah, my old bones could do with a little bit of adventure. <laughs> uh, don't allow yourself to be hoaxed, my friend. There is no adventure in deterministic time travel. Ah, poppycock. Don't listen to them. Never have, never do, never will. Time conductor. Check. Tachyon concentrator. Check. Hemorrhoid ring. Check. Ah, I'm so excited. My prostate is positively tingling. Tight squeeze your time machine. It's smaller on the inside. Cool, huh? Come and sit on Grandpa's knee. And off we go! Again, you know this place? Yes, I was already here once today. Or rather, will have been. The turban, the bowling polisher, everything is still in place, unused. Oh dear, that does make things a little bit more complicated. More complicated? What can you do? These are the vagaries of deterministic time travel. When you arrived here earlier, we'd already left. That also means that we can't leave before everything is exactly as you found it later. And what happens if I do change something? That really does depend. Did you happen to notice a little pile of ash right where we're standing now on your last visit? Uh, how about this? I'll get my things and then try to get everything ready just the way I found it later. That would be very welcome. Hands off! This ball is my livelihood. And my livelihood lies in you not having that ball later. Frankly, I don't give a hoot. Damn. Touch it. That's exactly where I'll have found it later. I think I'll let them sleep. If they recognize me, all that beautiful determinism is history. Hello. 
Hello, stranger. If you don't have an appointment, I could fit you in in a half an hour. But it wouldn't include washing. I I'm not a customer. Ah, oh, I was hoping that was the case. Most of them don't make their appointments themselves. Can I borrow your stuff? No. It's special equipment for grave diggers. Great outfit. These are the traditional robes of a grave digger. And here I thought you wanted to get married. It's a symbol of mourning in any case. I'm out of here. Doodaloo! Stop! I need the paint for preparing the corpses! Hey, stop! That's my spade! Only grave diggers with a license to dig can use it. Ah, oh, man. Hey, stop! Not exactly the ideal landing place. I hope something happens down there quick before I end up crashing later. Whoever digs himself a pit has already fallen into it. Hey, stop! That's my own. Ah, oh, man. There you are again. Yeah, yep. You look familiar. Impossible. You need that in my job. As a prophet? As a grave digger. Customers don't come back very often, but if they do, it's important to realize early on. As a matter of fact, I've always wanted to become a prophet. Unfortunately, my father thought the job had no future. Like so much nowadays. Exactly. But there'll always be work for grave diggers. Believe me. The day will come when you will, in fact, be a prophet. And how do you know that? Are you a prophet? Am I a prophet? I'd say yes. Lucky you. We could trade jobs. Me? A prophet? Oh, that would be so wonderful. But I mustn't regret my job as a grave digger. I've got to finish carving this gravestone and dig that grave over there. I want it to prepare a bit. Unfortunately, I don't know who will end up in this grave. You're lucky I'm a prophet. I'm gonna end up in this grave. And that doesn't bother you at all? I've seen far more bothering things in the last few days. The men's sauna on Elysium tops the list, though. Uh -huh. hmm. But, well, if it's your grave, why don't you dig it? If you manage that, then all I need is the appropriate outfit, and then we're in business. Dig my own grave? <laughs> Nothing easier. I'm out of here. Doodaloo! Pay attention. I'll show you how to dig your own grave. Actually, I've got to go and get my tablets. No, this is more important. Bravo! Sound work. Mm, with a little more time, I would have added a mini bar. You've got what it takes to dig graves. That much is clear. All we need now is a profit outfit, and then we can swap jobs. I think I have just the right thing for you. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit smelly. It's the fashion these days. Go ahead, try it on. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. It emphasizes the shoulders and conceals your cellulite problem. Congratulations, Rufus. You're now a grave digger. Here, take the outfit. You've earned it.